here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the good news is we don't have any snow to contend with, but we do have some of our own weather, some heavy rainfall, some thunderstorms expected uh, that we've been seeing all day long, actually, since the afternoon, and that'll continue into tonight. Look at the radar, just plenty of green on this radar, and uh, we have lots of more moisture to work with before we finally see some drier air overnight. So what we're looking at again is the wide view, and you can see some of the moisture off the uh, Jersey Shore and down towards the Mid-Atlantic region. That all has to make its way through our area before we finally get some clearer and drier conditions in our region. So so again, the pockets of heavy rainfall in the forecast for the rest of this evening and into tonight. It's a wet, gloomy lookout here in the uh, capital city is actually somewhere over here in the fog. <laughs> so uh, that's the capital city of Providence in the distance and visibility like you saw in that camera shot is on the lower end. Three miles visibility in Providence, same deal in Smithfield and also the same deal in Newport. So again, very location dependent. Some areas are seeing that locally dense fog, which certainly makes it harder to travel with that fog across the region. Temperatures now in the 50s, 55 Providence, 56 down in Newport, 56 in New Bedford. We pretty much topped out in the upper 50s and we'll pretty much hover there over the next few hours as well. Winds are picking up as well from the south and east. You can see uh, westerly gusting to 28 miles per hour out on the vineyard, 30, even out in the Cape, about 20 miles per hour too. So these winds will continue to be strong uh, through tonight and into the overnight hours and actually through much of Monday as well. Rainfall totals as of the last hour, TF Green about two and a quarter of inches of rain. Most areas between one and two right now, but I do think we'll see uh, you know, a lot of twos and threes as we go through the overnight hours into tonight. So my three key things, heavy rain, thunderstorms as well, dry Monday, and unsettled week ahead as we go through the next seven days. Satellite and radar, you can see storm system two hours south off the Carolina coast. Lots of moisture wrapping in uh, with a northeast flow. So when we get the winds off the cooler waters, that's when we're just you know socked in with the clouds, the drizzle, the mist, and of course the rain. So we're looking at our winds uh, eventually making their way out of the south and East, which is why we're looking at the wet weather arriving from the south. So watch these downpours make their way on shore from the south. This is eight o'clock tonight. You can see lots of bright colors on the screen, more to the south making their way through. So that's the theme for tonight. Just on and off occasional downpours, heavy rainfall, some thunder, some lightning, lots of orange and red here around 11 o'clock this evening. So uh, if you're heading to bed early tonight, might be woken up by some of the rain and some of the thunder as well. And overnight, notice how it's very more so sporadic. So more gray, less green and you know bright colors. That's because the heaviest rainfall will have moved on through. And eventually by Monday morning, we're gonna be seeing drying conditions and clear skies. So sunshine does return for our Monday. It will be windy though, with the winds gusting upwards of 20 to even 30 miles per hour at times on Monday. So if you're not a fan of this weather, we do have some good news, at least temporarily for our Monday. Here's that seven day forecast for you again tonight. Heavy rain at times, thunderstorms, windy as well. Just a stormy night. Uh, the good news is, though, it all clears out by the time we get to Monday with uh, windy conditions gusting upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour. Temperatures, though, in the middle 60s, not too bad. But unfortunately, the clouds and the shower chances do return by the middle and end of the uh, work week ahead. In our studio is in East Providence. Earlier, we could really hear that rain outside. Yeah, you'll be hearing it tonight for sure, especially if you go to bed early. Uh, we'll be hearing the rain and maybe even some thunder, too. Well, you can join us at 10 and 11. Don't go to yes. bed early. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks so much. Now